Morning ladies and gents, my name's Melissa and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Um, I've come on this morning very quickly um, to show you how to make this treat box. Um, and it's very, very easy. So I'll just jump right in and show you how we make that. Firstly, you're going to want a piece of cardstock. That measures eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter square. Um, you're going to take your scoreboard and you're going to score on the five and a half inch mark all the way round, right the way round your square, and that will give you this um, nine squares. And on every outer corner, you're going to take um, a scoring mat or a piercing mat, whichever you have. Um, and you're going to score diagonally across each corner. Okay, and that will give you this shape. Okay. And then to decorate it, all you're going to need is some, your first layer of cardstock is going to measure two and a half. Okay, and I'm using real red. And then your second layer is going to measure two and a quarter. And I'm using the presents and pine cones um, to sign a series paper. So we're just going to get on and do that now. So you flip your card over. And always make sure if you have a pattern paper, what you're going to do is that's going to be your bottom layer then the top layer has to be facing that way because remember you're going to fold it up so it will look the right way up so we'll get on and we'll put some of these layers on um, you can also as well you can decorate the inside although I've not done it on mine I'm just putting glue I'm using wet glue. And I'm just going to central them up on the layers. I thought I would do this this morning as I'm going to be very busy the rest of the day. <laughs> um, it's the 20th of November and it's my eldest daughter's 30th birthday. <laughs> and she'll love me for telling you all that. <laughs> um, and it's also the day that I put my decorations up. And I have done for 30 years. So, and we're taking the daughter out for a meal. So, I'm going to be busy the rest of the day so you'll not hear from me. <laughs> so I'm just laying my layers. Just remember for your pattern always make sure it's facing out. Um, on this one I decorated the corners. I'm not going to do that with you today but all you do is take your layer and um, cut it from corner to corner diagonally um, to make your corners. So 
so you just keep going round. These would be lovely to have if you're working at office or something, you know, just to have on your desk with some mints in or um, at home if you're having a party, you know, the way you always put nuts and pretzels and what have you out. Um, these would be just a nice little touch to add to your table to hold your nuts or what have you or even to fill with some luxury chocolates um, and wrapping cellophane again now and we're going to do the same I haven't decorated the inside of this one but we are going to now um, while I've got the card stock and all cut um, and keep your eye on the Stampin' Up! website tomorrow until the 28th they are having an extravaganza sale and there is some really good items at really good prices and it's running from the 21st which is tomorrow to the 28th And just gives it that bit more of added strength as well. I see we have another storm coming in as well. Um, Angus, is it? The same. Hit the UK last night. Um, so I hope you're all going to stay safe. Um, I was reading it on the teletext this morning. There was a boat stranded um, somewhere. <laughs> Can't remember now. And it was due to this storm, Angus, who seems to be a very angry little chappy. Nearly I think this is just something a little bit different, you know. Um, and I'm one of them people. I'm 
my kids always say that I'm hard to buy for because I like different. I like unusual. Um, even in my jewellery wise. I don't like going along with the norm. <laughs> So they always say I'm awkward to buy for. Not really. our inside and our outside done. Now all you're going to do is these corners where you've made your triangles, you're just going to take a hole punch and you're just going to punch either side of your triangle. Try and get them lined up. So that's what it should look like now. Okay, and all you're going to do is take some ribbon. We do, we've got a couple of combo packs at the minute. Um, this is one centimetre glitter ribbon. And I have to tell you ladies, it comes in the sweet sugar plum and the silver. And you know normally when you get that glitter ribbon and it's prickly and I don't know, it's horrible to touch this is so soft you would not believe how soft it is and pliable as well and um, so what color should have got gold really um, let me see let me see i'll use this green because it's got green in <laughs> and i'm just going to cut off a length And what you could do as well is in the base of your box put some tissue paper um, before you put your things in. All I've done is cut off a length of ribbon and you're just going to go through your holes. and you're just going to do it all the way round it doesn't matter if your ribbon twists and turns it will just add to the effect We're just going to pull it in. Until you're happy. Um, with how far you want it open or closed. And just tie a bow in your ribbon. No got time bows on camera. <laughs> so 
so you can have a rough to tell you that was no good <laughs> but you get the idea and that's all I wanted so you can have it as closed or as open as you wish um, I buy my cellophane because somebody asked me the last time on a roll and it's just normal cellophane just the clear stuff um, and I buy it from, from a florist's um, who I know I'm quite friendly with in the town um, but you can pick it up relatively cheaply and any sort of gift that you make if it's wrapped in cellophane and I mean I personally prefer that box with the corners from to be honest with you um, as I say if you just throw some tissue in let me see if I've got anything <laughs> Tissue. Wrecking the place. No. Just want to give you the general idea. It's the only one I have to hand. <laughs> You'll have to bear with me. Okay, just take some tissue paper. I'll just rip the piece off. <laughs> and you just put it in your box. Bear in mind this will not match because it's pink. <laughs> I just want to give you a general idea. You do that. Add some chocolates. I'm just wrecking one of our boxes. <laughs> right enough for the kids. Um, and yeah, add the chocolates. Now you have to picture these as the really expensive chocolates. <laughs> okay, so you've added your chocolates. Now you're going to add some cellophane. And I just want to give you the idea of what it'll look like. some cellophane, move that one out of the way, move the glue, bring in the cellophane, and all you do is take it corner to corner, corner to corner, now you'd have to picture this with really expensive chocolate thing. <laughs> How lovely and different would that look strung up with the ribbon with some gorgeous chocolates in. Wouldn't that just make a lovely gift? And as I say, I get my cellophane from a florist, so it's not really that expensive. So I hope you give that a go. Um, and see what you can come up with. And what other ideas you would have for it? Can't even tell if I'm in shot. <laughs> there you go. So give that a go. And let me see what you come up with. Okay, ladies and gents. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.